Hello everybody and welcome to the November 2016 Gaming PC Build of the Month and here we have the under $1500 gaming PC build for no November 2016. Who is this build for? Well this builds for anyone who wants to game at extreme settings and high FPS at resolutions of above 1080p into 1440p with scale back settings into 4k. So this is kind of the, the build that you want to get if you want to play at the higher resolutions and even if you want to dabble into 4k. Um, so let's get started. Uh, so for the under $1,500 build, uh, we have the Intel Core i5-6600K for $237.49. And just to give you a quick overview, these prices are reflective as uh, on Amazon.com, and they are accurate as of the beginning of November. So they might change slightly throughout the month. Uh, to pair with that, we have the Cooler Master Hyper 212 Evo CPU cooler that keeps the temperatures down and allows you to overclock the Core i5, uh, but also it doesn't come with a stock cooler, so we need to include a stock cooler as well. And this is one of the higher reputable air coolers out there right now. For the motherboard, we have the MSI Z170A uh, Gaming Pro Carbon this month, and this is at $149.99. And uh, this motherboard, uh, it comes with a few uh, neat features such as mystic lighting, game line, and more. Uh, if you do want to learn more about this motherboard, please visit the site noobcomputerbuild.com or visit msi.com. Uh, for the graphics card, the real power driver behind this build, we have the EVGA GeForce GTX 1070 uh, Gaming, uh, $389.99, fantastic price, 8GB of RAM in there, virtual uh, memory, uh, which is great, uh, but this is the real driver that'll get you into those 1440p uh, resolutions without a hiccup. Uh, for RAM, we have Corsair Vengeance, 16 gigabyte kit, that's two 8 gigabyte sticks for $73.99 uh, of DDDR4 RAM. One thing that did change slightly this month is the SSD that I recommend. Uh, this is the SK Hynix Flash, 500 gigs um, SSD, $134.98. Uh, what we switched it up to from before was the Samsung 850 EVO. They've performs very similarly but this is uh, much cheaper for what you get and even though the Samsung 850 Pro does perform slightly better it'll be um, unnoticeable by any standard user uh, by any means unless you were uh, benchmarking them up you know straight against each other and really really nitpicking but in my opinion this is a great choice for this month power supply EVGA Supernova 750 G2 $105.90 and for the computer case we have the Rosewill Colin uh, calling in uh, for $149.99. This is a brand new case. Uh, it's really slick, has tempered glass panels, uh, supports super big uh, graphics cards. Not really needed in this case, but uh, regardless. And then it also has great cooling, and it comes with four pre-installed uh, fans, which, which is just fantastic. Uh, this So this build, at the beginning of November, comes out to $1,276. So well under $1,500, um, which is great uh, if you have... Uh, a budget of $1,500 and want to save a bit, or if you need to get other things such as peripherals, or if you want upgrade suggestions, uh, we'll get into those in a second here. Um, so for the $1,500 build, we have some suggestions. If you went with all of these suggestions here, uh, it would cost you $1,817. Uh, so instead of the Intel 6600K processor that we do include, this is the Intel Core i7-6700K. This would be recommended for those who do more than gaming, perhaps video work or graphics work. That's when uh, this would come in handy, $319. Uh, better graphics card, we have the GTX 1080, such as this Asus one here, $599.99. Or you can get a better CPU cooler, such as this Corsair Hydro Series H100i V2 liquid CPU cooler for $102.99. It cools better and uh, gives you uh, a lot more options uh, to cool with and it has some cool features such as you know you can change the color of the the uh, Corsair logo and such just little things like that uh, storage upgrade you can go with a PCIe SSD even faster such as this Samsung 950 Pro 512 gigabyte uh, stick here for $315.62 $315 now finally uh, usually in these builds we don't recommend well, we do recommend peripherals. You need a peripheral, but here we don't usually include them in, in the build articles. So here for the under $1,500 build would be three quick suggestions uh, in case you need a monitor, keyboard, or mouse. So this month, month we have the Acer Predator XB271HU monitor. It's a 27-inch monitor 
2K monitor, and it's a G-Sync monitor, which goes well with your NVIDIA graphics card. And this is a, you know, high, high refresh rate, 144 hertz uh, with 165 hertz overclockable for 749.11. So that would be the recommendation for this build because it goes nicely with what's included, and you can push the performance out of this monitor quite nicely. For a keyboard, uh, this is a, you know, it's a high-end keyboard. You don't need it, but this is a high-end keyboard. Corsair Gaming K95. Um, uh, keyboard, mechanical, multicolor lighting, Cherry MX keys uh, for $179.99. And then for the mouse, this is the mouse I like uh, quite a bit and I use daily. The Logitech G502 Proteus uh, Spectrum RGB. Uh, it's very, well, sorry, it's on sale this month, so if you do want to buy it, uh, it's usually around, I want to say $80, $90, but it's on for $58.94. Uh, and it's fully programmable. You can choose the DPI pretty sp uh, precisely in three different modes. Uh, it's a, overall a really great, great mouse. It's weighted, uh, customized, and so you can uh, make it lighter or heavier depending on your needs. Now, uh, for the next build, we're going to do the under $1,000 build, but that'll be in the next video. Thanks for tuning in, and uh, check out NoobComputerBuild.com for uh, more builds and more information on how to build your next gaming PC. And for now, I'm signing out. Good luck building.